All right guys, welcome back to Wild Outdoor Living. So today we're gonna to be talking about Max's tires and my favorite combo to run. So if you're new to mountain biking, you may think that you need to run you know, the same tire on, on both wheels, uh, but that's definitely not the case, especially with Max's tires. They go really well with a, a different combo. And really this is true of, you know, aggressive uh, trail tires in general. Um, you can run different widths uh, front and rear. You can run different, um, you know, tire casings. But today I'm gonna to talk about my favorite, which is Asagai front and aggressor rear. And for me, you know, the Asagai is a newer tire. I've run DHF, DHF. I've run DHF, DHR. I've run aggressor, aggressor. Uh, let's see. Um, and I've run, you know, a, diff a bunch of different uh, casings and tread compounds over the years. Even ran a pair of super tacky DHFs back in the day. Um, you know, that's a that's a whole other ball game in terms of that. I don't think those are really available anymore, um, except in some pretty rare cases. So the Asagai, as you can see, is a very aggressive trail tire, um, DH tire. I should say it's not really a trail tire. Uh, it now comes in trail casings and rubber compounds and so it's become a much more versatile tire but like a lot of the tires from Maxxis you know it originated as a DH specific race tire the big difference between it and the popular DHF you know you have different I mean obviously you have a completely different tread compound entirely but you have different side lugs you have different center lugs but the biggest difference is that instead of having you know your center lugs here and then just your side lugs over here you have these um, offset lugs as you go across. So you end up with grip across the entire tire. The, the big thing with the DHF is you have good grip in the center and then there's kind of a dead zone and then you lean into that tire. Um, people had kind of described that to me before I got the Asagai and I wasn't really sure if that was true, but it, it really is. Uh, and not only do you get um, a more even traction across the whole tire, but I feel like you get more total grip out of the tire as well. So, uh, so far this tire's never let go of me. It is, you know, you, you just trust that front end, hold on to it, and it basically plows through anything. Um, it'll deal with ruts and, and off camber lines and um, pretty much anything you could throw at it, it will hang on to. It makes up for a lot of the mistakes that you make on the bike because you can just really trust that front end. And then on the back, we have the aggressor. So the aggressor is still in that kind of enduro aggressive trail category, but it's a much, much faster rolling tire. Uh, much more minimal tread. You can see just the, the size of the knobs there and the center knobs are, are, are much smaller as well. This tire often looks like it's on backwards because of these these ones are pointing this way, but they're actually ramped on this side. So it's a funny looking tire the first time you see it, but it does roll really fast. Uh, I've compared it to like the Bontrager XR2 and some other tires and the rolling speed between them is not very much, even though those are full blown cross country tires. Um, the Maxxis are gonna be a little bit heavier, but uh, still you could definitely run this on an XC bike, especially if you want some more cornering traction for yourself. I have run them front and rear and that's a really fast combo. I have to say, I, I, I really like it. And the, and the fact too is that if you run that aggressor aggressor combo, you have a lot more um, corner bite than you do with a true XC tire. So it's a really good combo front and rear, but if you're running on aggr an aggressive bike, having it in the rear only is a really good way to go because it gives the bike pretty good rolling speed even with an Asagai on the front. The Asagai doesn't roll too fast, but with an aggressor in the rear, it's really not bad. It rolls pretty normal for a trail bike and it doesn't bother me on climbs. It doesn't bother me on the flats. And so I feel content. And then when we get into the really steep stuff, I have a, tr a tire I can actually trust um, and we can we can kind of have fun on, on the steeper trails. Now, the, the aggressor on the rear has a couple of benefits and a couple of cons. So because it rolls faster, it is a looser tire, and so it tends to let go if the trail is really steep and really loose. So the pro of this is that it makes direction changes a little bit easier because your back end is a little bit more free. It's not stuck to the ground the whole time. Uh, the con is if you really need to feather the, your speed um, on, on a really steep trail, sometimes that tire just won't allow you to do that as much as you may want to. So in situations like that, the, the Asagai 
DHR combo is a little bit better. I have, I have done that one. Um, and I do like that combo, especially, you know, with XL plus, um, casing, but I didn't really like that combo with a double down DH casing. That was a little bit too heavy for what I needed. Um, and you could really feel how slow that was on normal trails, but in a, in a lighter casing, it's going to roll a little bit better. And you know, you're gonna have a little bit more grip on the downhill. But again, your, your bike's gonna be tighter and it's not gonna be as loose, um, which can be a pro or a con. So if we look at this hot patch here, I do have a couple of preferences when it comes to these tires. Uh, so on an Asagai, I run 29 2.5 wide trail. I have run the double down and now I am also running the XL Plus. So the biggest difference between the XL Plus and double down um, is weight and the rubber compound. So the double down is a lot heavier than the XL Plus. The XL Plus is definitely in the trail category for someone light and, and not really pushing it as hard. You know, I, I'm pretty light and I just kind of ride for fun. And so if you're racing, this may not be enough tire, but the XL Plus has really impressed me. It's got some pretty good durability to it for, you know, for your average rider, even on aggressive trails. The double down is a 3C Max grip. You can see the XL Plus is a 3C Max Terra. So the rubber on the double down version, not only is the tire heavier, but it is also softer. That gives it a little bit of extra grip, but it also makes it roll a lot slower. So what I've noticed is with the Max Terra, the tire is a little bit looser when it's unweighted. So as you kind of drift between corners, if you're kind of going from one uh, berm to the next or, or one turn to the next, you know, in that very kind of center point when you kind of unweight the front wheel a little bit, it's a little bit looser there although it's very rare they even feel that, and it's a very minimal difference. But once the tire is weighted, I can't feel the difference. Um, in fact, I feel like the Max Terra feels a little bit more consistent. The Max Grip um, was a little bit tighter in the middle, and it rolled slower. So, you know, for some riders, that is gonna make a difference for you, especially if you need that burlier sidewall. But, for most, um, for most instances, I did not really notice a grip difference between the two. In the rear here, I am running an XO. That's because I already had these aggressor tires, um, actually for the 920, if you remember that that video. And so I didn't need an XO Plus on that, um, on that build. And I've continued to run these tires since. They haven't given me any problems. But if I had to choose, I probably would run the XL Plus with the 3C. The 3C is gonna be a little bit grippier than this dual compound setup. The dual compound is probably one of the faster rolling compounds you can get from Maxxis, but it's, it's not as advanced as the 3C. So that would be the, the compound I would prefer in the rear. I would run XL Plus, XL Plus if I, if I had the chance. Um, and then if you're a little bit heavier than I am, so I'm 155, 165, if you're a little bit heavier and you ride a little bit harder and you tend to tear up tires, but, but it's pretty rare, then you could run a double down in the rear and XL Plus in the front. If you're someone that races really hard, you really push things, you've torn tires multiple times, then I would say you're probably going to want to do double down front and rear. And then, you know, if... <laughs> You know, I, I think I think the case is with the DH compound, um, with the DH uh, sidewall, you know if you need that tire. Uh, I can't really tell you if you need that tire. Um, the big con with the DH casing is that it is extremely hard to get on and off the rim. So especially with a carbon rim, that can be a concern um, because you're going to need some really burly tire levers to get it on there. And then... You know, it's it's even heavier than double down, so it's gonna affect um, the way the bike handles and stuff like that. So, you know, you know if you need that if you need that casing. So that's also gonna limit you in terms of what widths um, you can get. It's a little bit more limited in terms of choice for that DH compound. But if you guys have any questions, uh, definitely let me know in the comments down below. You know, this was just a quick video to kind of tell you uh, what my favorite setup is. I'm probably gonna run the Asagai Aggressor Combo um, for the rest of the season. Really interested in running the Asagai um, Dissector Combo. 
but I haven't had a chance to do that yet. So if I do, we'll go ahead and give you a review on it. But this is really good for the trails we ride around here, which is tacky most of the time, does get really dusty and loose. Um, we get mud on occasion, kind of get everything. And we have, you know, really steep trails um, and we have really flat trails. So you're kind of doing this, you're kind of doing the full gamut uh, off and on the same ride. And this has been a really good setup for that. So um, yeah, I think that's it. We'll catch you later.